PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete and Peach Tools, how are we all going today? Another beautiful day on my side of the world. I'm still talking about this new 7th generation Best Arc Plasma Cutter guys. Um, quite impressed with it really. I'll be mucking around with it now for about, this is the third week, three and a half weeks maybe I've had this machine. Yeah, I'm still finding out things about it and pretty impressive so far guys. Anyway, what I want to talk about today guys is the uh, new LED big screen in front. And we've got all sorts of weird and wonderful adjustments that we can do on that. So I thought I'd just run through them. I'll show you how to set it up and what all the different bits and pieces do. And then we'll do some cutting as well, guys. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And let's get into it, eh? What I like about this, guys, is if you're not used to plasma cutting and you don't know how to set your air pressure for the best cut for the amps that you're cutting with, this thing does it automatically for you. It's pretty awesome actually. It's the best I've found so far for value for money and all the different adjustments you can make. See how I'm increasing the air pressure here and you will look at the uh, LED gauge here. We're going up here. Now if we go above 60, watch how it happens. So we're at 61 PSI at 62 PSI at 50 amp. Now this gauge here has gone into the red. So what it's telling me to do is just back it down and then it'll give me the correct PSI for the amps that I'm cutting with. So this is telling me at, at uh, 59, 60 PSI, we're in exactly the right range here for the air pressure for the plasma torch. So that's pretty cool in itself, isn't it? So guys, let's do a little bit of cutting at 60 PSI and we'll see what happens, eh? <laughs> so what we've got, guys, is basically we've got a five mil hunk of steel plate here that we've been welding bits and pieces onto. So we'll see if we can cut this thing up just with the factory settings. So we've got it at 59 PSI, we've got the three green bars here. Put our earth clamp as close as possible to what we're cutting, remember, thought I always tell you to do that, guys. And another thing I've been caught out at, guys, if you have your torch lead like this hanging underneath your table, chances are you're gonna burn a big hole in it. <laughs> like Pete did the other day. So try and move your stuff away from where the hot stuff is gonna fall. I know that sounds pretty simple, but you know, these things happen. Rightio. Just straight out of the box, basically, guys. We'll see if it'll cut, eh? Got it set there. Cool, let's have a go. Here we are, straight out of the box. We're actually doing squiggles. We're doing shapes on five millimeter steel. Proper steel, straight out of the box. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome, mate. Eh? That's pretty awesome. You try and do that with an angle grinder, guys. Yeah! I love it, I love it, I love it. So what we'll do now, guys, is we'll have a look at the 2T and the 4T function. So at the moment, I've got it on 2T, and I'll show you what that means, guys. We cut along here. I pull the trigger, of course. I cut along here, I let go of the trigger, and it stops cutting. Let go of the trigger, stop cutting. You know, as soon as I let go of the trigger there, guys, you just stop cutting. Right, now if I change the, from 2T to 4T, now we'll do exactly the same thing. Here we go, guys, we'll pull the trigger. Cutting, 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 cutting. Let go of the trigger, cutting, 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 now to stop the cut, guys, I just hit the trigger again like that. Now did you see what I did there, guys? All I had to do was hit that trigger again, and then she stopped cutting. And that's really good if you're cutting uphill or downhill or upside down. Sometimes you just lose the tension on your finger, and it stops cutting, and then you try to try and get the thing restarted again. But with the 4T, she just keeps cutting until you hit the trigger again, which I think is an awesome add-on to this machine, guys. Now guys, I'm coming to one of my favorite features on this machine. Actually, this machine's got a lot of features that I just love, eh? Um, we've got the PT here, which is the post time. If you guys don't know what post time is, I'll just show you quickly. So you've got PT post time here, and then if we check up here, we're changing it from five seconds right up to 15 seconds. And I'll show you what that does, guys. And then this is, the PT is designed to save your consumables from burning out so quickly. So the higher the post time, the longer it gives for these consumables to cool down before the machine stops, basically. Here, I'll show you. 
So if we put it on PT and we've got post time at four seconds. So we'll do a little bit of cutting. See that guys? Took four seconds for the air to stop after the flame stopped. So that gave it four seconds to cool down these consumables. So I've got my finger on them now, it's not too bad. I'm not burning myself. And the thicker metal that we're cutting, the longer the post time we want. So we can go right up to 15 seconds. So if we're cutting something like three quarters of an inch thick, you want to give it the whole 15 seconds to cool down your consumables. Otherwise they'll burn out really, really quickly. But bear in mind, the longer post time you give it, the more air it's going to suck out of your compressor. Now this feature here, the PA, is the first time I've seen it on any machines in this price bracket. I mean, this price bracket for this machine is about $270, $280. So it gives you a whole lot more features than what the other normal cheaper machines do. But anyway, the PA function here is the pilot arc. So when you pull your trigger, your pilot arc starts before you go onto your metal. Then the circuitry takes over and then it basically runs on the metal and then it turns off your pilot arc. That's a simple way of thinking about it anyway but what this does the PA button here is you can extend how long the pilot arc continues to arc for before it goes straight to your metal and what that gives you is a whole lot more options if you're cutting like corrugated steel because corrugated steel you you can't keep the torch on the steel all the time you have to it moves up and down all the time even if you're using a guide like this you can't keep the same distance and also if you're cutting expandable mesh, expandable steel, as soon as you go off the metal, it normally just shuts off and then you have trouble igniting it again, especially if it's rusty. But with that adjustment there, you can turn it up to 15 seconds and it'll keep on running. Anyway, I'll show you. So we've got PA at one second. There we go. One second, boom! I let go of the trigger, did you see that? I'm, I might do it again so you can actually see my hand go away from the trigger. There we go, one second, did you see that? All right, now if we change it, PA and we run it up to eight seconds. See that guys, just a little bit longer it continues on for. And uh, you can adjust that and muck around with it and you can get it to cut exactly how you want it to cut. Here I'll show you on some expandable steel what I mean. See we've got a rusty bit of old expandable steel here. What we have trouble with, with the torch is you'll get it started once you can get it started and then you hit an air gap and then it'll stop and then it has to restart, stop, restart, stop and it's a right pain in the ass trying to cut this stuff. Watch what this machine can do. Rightio, so if we set the pilot arc to 0.1 seconds and then we'll have a go at cutting this expandable steel, see what happens. See here we're having issues, and stop. Stop. I can pull it further again, see that? And pull it further again. And it stops. See what I mean? Right, now let's change the pilot arc to 15. Now let's see if we can cut it. See what I mean guys, I didn't have to pull the trigger on, off, on, off, on, off to restart the pilot arc all the time because we had it set to about 15 seconds. So that just saves a whole lot of hassle guys. You've got no idea. Once you start plasma cutting and start cutting all sorts of different sorts of metal, expandable mesh is a pain in the bum to cut guys. So guys, 
They were the four or five best things I've found out about this Best Arc 7th generation machine so far. It's shaping up to be a really, really good machine, guys. Like I say, guys, in that price bracket, there's nothing that can compare to it at the moment. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day to me at my new YouTube channel if you want. I've done a bit of a New Zealand travel channel so you can see where I live and that sort of thing. So I'll put a link in the description below. If you want to see an unboxing video with this machine, see what you get straight out of the factory. Check out this side, guys. And if you want to see me try and get this machine to cut something that it's not designed to cut, thickness, I mean, check out this side, guys. See you later. Bye. PeachTools.com.